What's up, Fire Fan? My name is Karen Fire, and welcome back to another Kind of Nexus video. Today, I'm going to be teaching you about thrall taming. I'm going to teach you all the ins and outs, all the stations, and what you need, and even include some rare items in there that you can obtain to improve your adventures when you're thrall taming. So let's get into the video. So we're going to start off with our feats. Of course, there are many very different feats that you can learn, but they are ones that you need that are really important. The first one you're going to need when you're low level and you want to start doing this and getting small frills or whatever you like, you need to learn the frill taker here and learn the lesser wheel of pain and all these bits and bobs. When you get higher level though, you can learn the normal wheel of pain where you're going to get a torturer's work table, which means you can use this to craft other bindings and truncheons. And then when you get through to the last feat, which is level 50 for the greater wheel of pain, you're going to need this uh, engram to be able to make a better truncheon and the better binding. So that is pretty much the engrams you need. Also, you might want to learn things like damage bluntings. And you can learn all three. It starts at level 26, then 39, and then 51 for the last one for the advanced stuff. And what you're literally looking for is the advanced blunting weapon fittings. You might also be interested in a blunted arrow or a blunted javelin, which can also help with taming. So these are different feats that you can learn here. And that's pretty much covered it for feats. So when we're starting at square one, all your important stuff is actually going to be in your inventory. So you have the truncheon here. You need a bit of leather for it, five plant fiber and five branches. And then you're going to need your simple fibre binding, which is going to take you 5 twine and 5 plant fibre. So very easy, simple things to make. Now it can be quite tough to fight actual things with a wooden truncheon, since it's not that great. So do bear that in mind, it might be a little bit difficult, things might hit you back and stop you being able to use your truncheon. So you may want to equip it with a shield at the same time to help you out, or just dodge out the way. Spearmen are usually going to be the tougher of the bunch to actually knock out. All you want to do is actually just smack him until he is knocked out like so. Then all you need is your binding, which you can equip and then click on your select button to drag the thrall and bring it into what we call a wheel of pain. But knowing if you've got this kind of equipment, you're going to start off with the lesser wheel of pain. That can take a 3x3 foundation wide, one wall high, kind of set up here or you could just place it on the land but it is ideal to kind of lock it in a box because other people can steal your falls from a wheel of pain so do that. This lesser wheel of pain can only hold one at a time in it so don't try and enter any more in it at a time otherwise you might end up deleting the falls in there until they're finished taming. So you have one fall in there taming depending on what kind of tier it is is the quicker it will cook up so if you got like a tier 4 fall it's going to take a lot longer if you have a tier 1 thrall, like the Samorian Fighter 1, it's going to take quite a short time. And to actually cook this thrall up and get it to tame in this little crafting queue here, you need a good sustenance. You can use gruel, I do recommend using gruel over pretty much any of the other foods that they suggest on the wiki, because it's simple to make, really easy to get, and you can just make tons and tons and tons of it, so there's not really a point in making other stuff. But you can make the other stuff to increase the burn timer here. But as you can see, 100 gruel here is going to take up 2 hours and 12 minutes. So this guy's going to be done well within that time. Just bear in mind, higher tier thralls are going to take a lot more gruel. So you might want to fill in several slots of gruel. So you have a good amount of about 6 hours for taming a T4. Or make sure you have 7 hours worth of gruel to tame a tier 4. And I think that should be about right if you're taming one. Gruel is great because you can use any cooking station for this stuff and it's really simple to get. All you need to do is harvest some bushes and you should get enough for it. So you're going to need some plant fibre and some seeds. Then all you do is start cooking it. As you can see, per one craft you're going to get 10 gruel at a time. So that's really, really nice. It's only going to take one seed at a time for this recipe as well. And it's going to take five fibre per 10 gruel. So the wheel of pain is actually crafted in your inventory. It's going to take you 60 shaped wood. 50 brick, 200 iron reinforcements, and 80 twine. Just bear in mind in the lower tiers you're going to want several of these fibre bindings because they only have 300 durability which will run out super quick because they are really kind of rough bindings. So make sure as well if you see your binding actually near to breaking that you swap it over when you're actually stood still otherwise you might lose your thrall if you're going really fast along or dragging it behind a horse. 
So do get yourself uh, several of these, keep an eye on the durability so you don't lose the thrall. Also, if you're going to go with the trenchant method, remember there's 100 durability in this thing, so that's much not much at all either, so bring the uh, craftables with you to repair it. And that's pretty much low level taming, the absolute basics there. The next step up from that is the blunted javelin, which you can make in your 20s, and this is a 5 branch 2 iron bar recipe that you can make up. But where you can throw these javelins so you might actually lose them if you're not careful, you will have to go and pick it up again if you do throw it. But mostly I like to just use the attack on this so you can get the full that way. And I'll give you a small example on how actually uh, good it is. I'll get myself a tier 1 uh, fighter. You can uh, just bashy with the uh, blunted javelin. It's actually really, really good. And of course you can see it go down pretty quick uh, with a tier 1 anyway. But as you can see, it's a very fast to use weapon, very very quick, very great for low level taming and I absolutely recommend having one when you're doing those low tiers. Just remember not to do your right click and throw it. <laughs> Just this one. All you need is this one. If you're worried about throwing it though, you can always make several or they do actually stack up. Uh, you could use the other way of doing it, you could throw it. So I'll give you a small example of what happens if you were to end up throwing this javelin at someone instead. I've got myself a new fighter, you probably want to kind of... Yeah, there you go. Cripples also, so it will slow down your target as you can see he's actually bugging out there, he's not moving. Unfortunately you can't pull it back out again. But that is another way to do it with these javelins if something's too hard. Our next step up is the Wheel of Pain, so this is when you can learn the Torturer's Work Table, the next bindings up, the Iron Trungeon, and the T2 Wheel of Pain. So this is the Torturer's Work Table, you can actually make this thing in your crafting queue, as you can see here. It's going to cost you 9 shapened wood, 10 iron bars, and 2 twine to make. Then all you need to do is place it, you can place Taskmasters in the full slot here, to make things cheaper or get access to the chain bindings right here which is going to cost you three steel bars which I highly recommend you do pretty much all we're going to be getting in this time is the raw high bindings which is three leather and the iron truncheon which is five branches, four iron bars and ten leather now the durability is slightly better on this one you have 300 durability on the iron truncheon and you have 600 on the raw hide bindings however i still recommend you bring several raw hide bindings with you and the process here is exactly the same as the first you knock them out with your truncheon you can use heavy or light attack usually i like to use the heavy because it gets the most in and it can stun them quite a bit but there you go your fighter will be down from that then all you need to do like last time is just attach it to your rope and then, ideally you want to build uh, your next T2 tier of pain, uh, wheel of pain, or wheel of friendship, however you like it. And then just pop them in, just like the last one. This wheel of pain can actually break four thralls at a time, so you can have four thralls crafting in the station, which is very handy. The wheel will take a 5x5 five five foundation and a free high wall. As you can see, I've built a little bit lower here, but this cap on the top of the wheel of pen is going to stop you building a ceiling over. So you can either go too high and add a hump on top to stop people accessing the inventory, or you can just do the full clearance of the free high wall and across with the ceiling. The lesser wheel of pain is actually made in your inventory. It takes 220 wood, 210 stone, 75 iron bars and 30 twine. Now moving on to our next method of taming, the blunted arrow you can learn at 35. Now there's an important thing to remember with the blunted arrows, that you're going to need a blunting on your actual bow, otherwise it does way too much damage to the thrall and can end up killing them. You might not notice this with a tier 1, but you'll certainly notice it with a tier 3 or any above. So I'll give you a quick example, this is without the blunting right here, I'm going for this guy. You can see I am doing way more damage than knockout, so this guy's going to actually die before I get him, so it's very unideal to use that. Now if I was to switch to the other one, if I could find where the other guy has gone, he's running away, which is unfortunate. Where is it you? Oh no, it's this guy. As you can see, I'm shooting him with the blunting on my bow. You can see I'm doing way more knockout than health damage, but it is still pretty close. As well as, if I hit him in the knees, it gives him a cripple, which is nice, but I'm hitting him in the head at the moment. You can see, he's going to live, and I'm going to knock him out with that blunting. It makes a hell of a lot of difference, 
and it will mean that you can stay in the safety of where you are on top of your uh, pillar or object, shoot down for them and obtain your thrall. And this will pretty much work for all tiers of thrall, you can use this method. To make the blunted arrows, all you need is a carpenter's bench, and as you can see, blunted arrows are going to take you two feathers, two iron bars, and ten branches. And then you can equip it on the bow of your choice. But again, to make the blunties you're going to need for this method, you're going to need the previous feats I told you about in the beginning, and then you're going to need either the advanced, the blunted, or the simple blunted to add on to your bow to be able to use this uh, actual knockout uh, ammo properly. So for the blunted basics, it's 10 iron bars. For the blunted normal, it's 10 steel. And then for the advanced, it's 10 hardened steel. Also, adding a blunting is great because it increases the concussive damage on there, so you'll do way more concussion with this blunting. So they are very important to have indeed. Our next option is actually all the way to level 50. That's quite a jump, but here we go. The Greater Wheel of Pain, Leather Bindings, and a Steel Trungeon. So you're going to again need the Torture's Work Table to make these things. So the Steel Trungeon is going to cost you 10 leather, 4 steel bars, and 5 branches. The leather binding is going to cost you free thick leather instead of the normal leather, so it'll be very good. The actual leather bindings are really good on durability, 1200, it will barely run out, but you might again want to bring a couple with you just in case. And then the steel truncheon, again it's got 450 durability on it. And it does way better at knocking out the uh, thralls with this kind of truncheon, so that's nice as well. And if I'm to bring in my normal black hand fighter to fight me, let's have a look at the differences we're going to see here. We're going to knock him on the head. Bang, bang, bang. He's out. Then again, normal way, we grab him and we take him to our wheel of pain. Which this time is going to be the big grandmaster of all wheels of pain. The greater wheel of pain. This is a 7x7 seven seven foundation wide 4 high wheel of pain that you're going to want to lock in a kind of box like so. This wheel will actually break 8 thralls at a time so it is worth its costs. It can be pretty expensive and pretty large but boy oh boy is it a good one. The greater wheel of pain is crafted in your inventory. It's going to take 210 shaped wood, 200 hardened brick. 200 steel reinforcements and 160 twine to make it. Now if you feel your thralls are taking way too long to cook, then you actually need to go and find a taskmaster. This is a thrall that will reduce the actual burn time significantly on the thralls you're cooking. So this guy could even half the amount of time you're doing them or even quarter it. So it's an amazing thrall to have. And if you ever are to get one, you are to put it up in this slot here where it says Thrall. You want to put your Taskmaster in there. Make sure he's all safe in there. Make sure it's all boxed in so nobody can steal it from you. And then you shall have a way quicker system of getting your Thralls out and in uh, when you're taming these important things. Now if you're struggling to find a Tier 4 Thrall Taskmaster, then I can recommend you a really good spot. You're going to get one in every single time. However, I do not recommend this area for anybody that is not confident or well prepared for it. So just stick to the normal Taskmaster spots otherwise. But if you're brave and you're quite used to playing Conan Exiles and used to the challenges, take it slow. And you want to enter into this building right here. This building is pretty much right here on the map. The small circle building near the Ravaged Barrows. And in here is quite a special thrall. As you can see... There he is. You can see he's very naked, so he's not that hard to spot. He is guarded by uh, some thralls in here, relic hunters. that are pretty tough to kill, actually. As you can see, you've got some really good raiders in here, so it might be worth taming these up. You can kind of bug them out a little bit as well if you just use the walls to your advantage. And then just get rid of the bad ones. There we go, I killed all those people, so now we just have God Wrath, Which you can knock out. It's going to take a while if you don't have bluntings on your weapon. And he's pretty tough because, of course, he is the highest tier, the best of the best, that you can obtain Taskmaster-wise. Now I want to move on to my last two very special Trungeons that you can find in the Conan Exiles world, but you cannot craft. The first we're starting with is the Reinforced Steel Trungeon. This thing has 750 durability, is absolutely incredible, and it has plenty of concussion on it too. 
you can find this in two places actually. You can find it outside the leather store where we are now. Either in these two boxes. It is a rare drop out of these two boxes so you will have to come here quite often. But you can get one of these and uh, yeah, it would be really nice if you can get them out of the box. So as you see... But you can find this area right here on the map, just below the den location. Here you go, is the lever door. And then there is one other additional place you can find this trungeon. Our next location is actually the Black Galleon ship, which is right here on the map. You can see, you can get in this location from underneath without going near any of the floors. Or you can go through the door with a chicken man and literally make it that way. So we're going to jump out, go to the other side. And we need the chest under here, so we are actually got some uh, climbing to do to get up to this chest area underneath the boat. So make sure you have some decent stamina for this, you might slip and slide a bit, but you can get up there eventually. There is also a recipe here as well that is good to remember about, so that is there. Once you're up here, you can go over to this chest in the corner and see if you can get the reinforced steel trungeon out of that. Keep an eye on the other chests as well in the Black Galleon, because there you go, there might be a chance, but there you go, there's two locations that you can perhaps get yourself a nice reinforced steel trungeon from. Next place you can go to get an even better trungeon, the Seth's trungeon, is the actual wine cellar dungeon where you'll need to kill Seth the drunk. But pretty much this has five extra points in heavy concussion damage over the actual reinforced steel trungeon, so this one might be even more worth it going for it. So if I'm to give you a map reference, you can see right here that I am over here near the water side. You can see on these planks, and then it's just this door. We click E on it, we load in. Pretty dark in here, so you might need a torch, but we have some a little bit of light in here. And what we are looking for is Seth the Drunk, as he's just spawned in, burping and being all disgusting. He is technically a mini-boss, so you can kill him off. Occasionally he'll drop his trungeon, but this time he has not. And that's pretty much how you'll get it, farming this guy out. I'll spawn in several to give you an example. They can come shirtless or shirtful. Let me just kill a bunch of them. So you can kind of see what drops to expect. Oh, I believe I just saw one. Yep, there you go. Seth's trungeon. But anyway, that's pretty much all I have to say on thrall taming in this game. It is pretty easy when you get the hang of it what to do and if you get the good objects like the Seth's Trungeon or any of the Trungeons that you can get, it will really advance your taming and make things easier. Of course as well, if you have a group of people and you all go in with Trungeons, it will stun the crap out of your target. So that's a really easy way to do it. If not, and you're solo, make sure you bring a shield because that might come in handy when they decide they want to hit you instead where you're trying to knock it out or whatever, and then my final word of advice is probably to get rid of all the other fools around the area before you go and knock out the one that you want. You can either target this kind of thing with an arrow to get rid of the pesky ones without hitting everyone, or you could just fight them off, etc, and then knock out your target. Or you could just lure them away, and that would do pretty good as well. But that's pretty much all you need to know about this kind of knockout concussion thing. And I hope your thrall taming goes smoothly from here on out. But anyway, thank you for watching. I love you all and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.